G'day, welcome back to the Big Bus Tour and Travel Guide. Now, Kangaroo Island off the coast of beautiful, slightly chilly South Australia is renowned for its amazing natural landscapes and I think some of the best wildlife viewing opportunities anywhere in the country. Now, that's a big call, but you be the judge as we explore on foot with Park Trek Walking Holidays. Park Trek Walking Holidays offers fully accommodated and guided walking trips through Australia's most iconic environments. It's a great way to really immerse yourself in a destination like beautiful Kangaroo Island. I catch up with our guide Doreen to find out more. I really enjoy these um, holidays because you get off the beaten tourist track. And that means that you can take people to some wonderful places that you can only really get to by walking. And sometimes that's the best places to see. They're usually remote, usually pretty rugged, um, really special places. There's a lot of wilderness feel to the tracks that we do. And, and people just really enjoy them. They get a lot out of them. Over the next five days, we get to experience the diversity of the terrain on the island through a variety of daily guided walks. It's absolutely stunning. We also learn about the colonial history of the island, which was settled as part of the colony of South Australia in 1836. And then, of course, there's the wildlife. We don't have any foxes or any rabbits on the island, uh, which is fantastic. So that means that people will see quite a lot of the Tamar wallaby. Um, they'll see a lot of the Kangaroo Island kangaroo, which is actually a subspecies of a mainland um, kangaroo that we get in South Australia called the Western Grey. And your Kangaroo Island kangaroos are very obvious because they've got um, darker features on their, on their um, muzzle and on their tail and on their feet. Um, they're a bit stockier and a bit furrier, a bit cuddlier, I guess. So animals such as the platypus and the Cape Barren geese and the koala were all introduced to the island back in the early 1900s to try and, and preserve them. Now they've all been very successful. Then we head to the um, spectacular Sill Bay National Park um, where we get to actually walk along the beach with the sea lions, just acting um, and living in their natural habitat. And the guests will get to see pups, they'll get to see um, adults, um, big males and females just doing their thing on the beach quite naturally. It's a really special experience. Our accommodation on this trip is clean, comfortable and wonderfully integrated into the natural surroundings. Most meals are included and our guides cook up plenty of hearty homestyle favourites. All right, now one of the most amazing things about this trip is the chance to spend a couple of nights here in the historic cottages at the Cape de Cudic Light Station. Now, the lighthouse and these cottages were built back in the early 1900s, still as solid as a rock, home to the head lighthouse keeper, his family, and two horses out the back named Mac and Dolly. Yeah, the story about the Cape de Cudi Light Station is actually really interesting. Um, it was operated in the early 1900s, and at the beginning of its operation, the lighthouse keepers and their families would only get supplies every three months. And uh, supplies could only come by ship. And at Weir's Cove, which is located just a short walk from the lighthouse itself, um, there's remnants of an old winch there that, um, that they used to pull up all the supplies from the ships that would come in and it would all have to then be carted back to the lighthouse itself. There are so many highlights on this trip, and for me, the Kelly Hill Caves are one of them. Kangaroo Island has got a very interesting geology, and part of that are the limestone caves and the limestone formations that we have on the island. And Kelly Hill Caves has got some beautiful, um, delicate show caves that people can visit. So just before sunset, we head over to the Remarkable Rocks, and um, guests are able to have a, um, a wander around this amazing geological feature been there for many many years it is very very slowly eroding away and because of that erosion it has sculpted the most beautiful pieces of art really in, in nature. So for me the best reasons why people would choose Kangaroo Island for a park trek tour is first of all the amazing wildlife that you're going to see it's the spectacular places that we're able to to guide you to um, and just the sense of remoteness that you get, particularly at Cape de Cudi. For more information on this incredible Aussie adventure, just visit the Park Trek website.